What's going on guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video, we're going to be talking about a penny stock, INUV, and we're talking about how Vanguard just bought a whole bunch of shares. Now, before we get into this video, I'd like to remind you, like, comment, and subscribe, and thank you for being here. i also like to remind you that I do have a free Discord server. If you need help anytime, I'm here for you. Just hop in here. Now, let's talk about what Vanguard just did and what this stock is. So, Vanguard, they bought... 2.1 million shares they bought 2.1 million shares of this company and if you didn't know inuv the company what they do they're a market leader in ai driven e-commerce solutions so basically what they do they do marketing and ai stuff with e-commerce businesses so good company overall they just started out and they've been trying to build on to what they've been developing with ai now we all know this is a penny stock. You've probably heard this before. And let's actually now break it down from a technical standpoint. So I haven't drawn any lines on this graph yet. So I'm going to do this together with y'all. I know a lot of y'all been asking about my charts, how I do it, and the process behind it. So we're going to do this real time. You're going to watch me break it down. So the first level that comes to my mind when I'm looking at this chart is right here. The reason why is notice how we pushed down, but buyers came in. That's why we have that wick over here. Same scenario. And then finally over here. So we know that this is a level of tension that when we get to that level that, hey, we may bounce up just because we've done it before. And over here, we didn't quite touch the line, but we came close enough. So I know this 61 cent area is a level of tension. Now, when I look for resistance, I do the same thing. I look for rejection right here. What happened? We tried to push up, got rejected, came screaming down. And then we found buyers right here. Over here, what happened? We tried to push up. We were unable to. Came down. And right here, we came down to that level. So, guys, when you're looking for your support and resistance lines, you know, your supply and demand, this is how I do it. You look for the story. You look for where the buyers and sellers are. And then right here, we obviously know there are sellers right here. So, this 68 cent level is a level of interest that we need to get above if we were bullish. So right now, what do we have? We have our support level at 61 cent, and then we have our resistance level here at 68 cent. So if we get above that, we know we're bullish. If we're unable to get back above that, then most likely we're heading back down to 61 cent, and that's where I'd be a buyer. at. Now keep in mind though, Vanguard, they are investing in it. That's a big institutional bank, so they'll be able to move this stock price up. Now let's look at another level, guys. So let's say that we break 61 cent. Well, how do I know where it's going? You do the same exact scenario, you chart it out. Now with penny stocks, they are gonna be a little harder to read just because they have a lot of these gaps ups and they're just harder to read because you don't have as much as much data. So if you're struggling, what I recommend is move down your time frame. So I normally chart on the four hour. If you're struggling, then move down to that one hour time frame. It works just as good. And then you can see a, a bunch more candles and notice that with our support level we just drew out, notice there, we have more candles that touch this level you notice here we touch it, here we touch it, here we touched it. So when you find a level on the four hour, it's going to fit on the one hour as well. So let's take a look at the next level. So what comes to my mind is this level right here, right at 55 cent. So if we fall below 61 cent, then most likely we'll head to 55 cent. The reason being is because we got rejected here, we found support here, and then we also got rejected here. And then finally on this candle, we push up to this level, but then got instantly rejected. So this 55 cent level is going to be a level of interest. If we fall down on this level, I expect buyers to come in. They have before. And then when we get underneath it, it acts as a resistance, but then we push through. So guys, this is my thought process. This is how I find these levels. Now let's say we get above 68 cent. Where am I looking for a resistance line at? Well, we don't have too much to go off of, but right now what I would give that level is 76 cents. The reason why we try to push up, found some sellers, came down, same scenario over here, tried to push up, sellers came in, and we were unable to close above that level. So when you're charting out, no matter what stock it is, guys, follow the same setup like I'm doing. Look for the story, and if you can't find it, then go ahead, move down to a smaller time frame. But overall, the whole point of this video was that Vanguard, they are buying up this penny stock. They are buying in massive amounts of shares. Yes, it's only you know 60 cent, but 2. Point million shares is still a lot. They're still expecting a huge move, and even in this fund right here, they have 427,000. In this fund, they have 65,000. So they're buying it up, and they're looking 
for probably a long-term hold on this. Now, this company, I just read a little bit about it. What they're doing seems amazing. So Vanguard's probably playing this for the long term because they see potential in this stock. And yes, it's still a penny stock, so you still have to be careful, have risk management, because even though a big institution buys in, you don't know when they sell, you don't know when their target price is. So don't follow their trades blindly, be careful, still have your plan, buy a support, you know, sell through resistance or play the breakout guys. Same scenario goes with any other stock. Just be educated about it. Find your levels like I did today. We went down, we looked at these levels and you can see that we're going to buy a support, sell at resistance or play the breakout. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I wanted to give you a little update on this penny stock I found. And I also found that Vanguard was buying up huge. Anyways, I will see you all in the next video.